Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's your boy TC Talks. TC Fitness. Yes, sir. And I'm here. Back at it again. Here with another video for you guys. Now, today's video is all going to make sense. It's all going to make sense. On semen retention and no fat. I want to continue to talk about my personal experience because I can only talk about my personal experience. Every man on semen retention and no fat is going on his own personal experience, personal discovery. And it gets better. Semen retention is power, no fat is power. And I'm forever thankful for this experience. Now, of course, I want to give a huge thank you and a huge shout out to everybody that's been supporting the channel. You guys just helped me reach 4,600 supporters on the YouTube channel. And of course, a huge thank you and a huge shout out to everybody that's been tuning in on the Human Experience Podcast, man. Let's go, bro. That's what I'm talking about. See, th th this is where semen retention and NoFap has been helping me out with so much bro like just really like knowing the power that you hold within yourself embracing it and not you know not denying it like it it feels good to to feel good <laughs> it feels good to have energy on a day-to-day -day basis you know to keep my vibrations high No matter what the world may try to throw at me You know To To keep My state of My state of being My state of mind And keep it very very positive And to just live in the moment Live in the present You know what I'm saying You should really thank yourself For being on semen retention should really thank yourself for, for taking your power back in this matrix. Because that's what they want to take away from you. Your energy. Your confidence. Your drive. Your motivation. And I don't want to sound like a broken record. But one thing that I always remind myself is. Is repetition. You know. Is always remembering your why. I'm on semen retention. To continue to To elevate To continue to evolve To continue to experience A better version of myself You know I'm on semen retention Because I now know How powerful I really am On the inside <laughs> I now know the importance of, you know, self-control and having self-discipline and not doing the same thing and expecting different results. When you're watching, you know, when you're watching PMO, you... I'm outside, so I might be a little bit loud. When you're watching porn, you're psyching yourself out of real reality. And what I noticed within myself on this journey is that, on this experience, is that I've become a problem solver. And that's powerful. That's also how you learn how to manifest more money into your reality. When you're able to solve other people's problems, you're a problem solver. But first, you have to start with solving your own problem. So I had a lot of different problems within myself that I had to solve and I'm still working on myself on a day-to-day -day basis I have financial problems I have bad spending habits bad you know a, a bad relationship with money I used to think you know that money was only meant for certain people or only certain people could manifest money into the reality but it all really starts with your mindset and having a good relationship with money you know what I'm saying? I started learning about how money works, how money can work for you, and how it really works in this in this reality. 
Another problem I had was, of course, watching porn. Porn addiction. You know, releasing my seed. And then knowing to myself, like, you have to know yourself. Knowing to myself how I felt every time after I released my seed. I felt like a loser. My energy levels was low. I did not have confidence in myself. I lacked that. I lacked confidence. You know, I lacked the self-awareness. But once I started solving that problem, I said, wow, I know I can help other people solve their problems because I'm doing it myself. I'm learning about semen retention. I'm applying it to my life and I'm experiencing this firsthand. How much, you know, focus I have towards my actual real life goals and not putting that energy towards porn and releasing my seed. How much drive I have towards towards life you know how much confidence i built within myself i know that i don't need jewelry i don't need the latest clothes i don't need that stuff to 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 make myself feel good i feel good about myself regardless you know what i'm saying they try they try to really keep you trapped in a matrix mentality not knowing that you have the key to 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 unlock you know to to unlock new doors and to to get out of that 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 mentality you have the the internal information you don't need like external validation like people do a lot of things to impress other people but you got to impress yourself and i get it in this in this third dimensional reality we have things that we like to do that we say i'm doing it to keep myself happy i want to buy these jordans or i want to buy that car because i like it all right cool but is that car Gonna bring you a real return on your investment. I understand it gets you from point A to point B, X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. But is it is it gonna bring you a return on investment? That's real talk. Or are you doing it to impress other people? Now that's that's just facts. Well, that's my personal belief. Like I said, me, I've learned to build confidence within myself, and I learned to impress myself, man. Because none of this stuff you could take with you after you leave this earth. Your energy lives on forever, but your, your vessel, you feel me? Your vessel stays here. You cannot bring no, no materialistic items with you. That's just real talk. Um, another thing too, personal experience. Like, I've really grown just the, the, the strongest bond, like, with the most high God and just the most, like, I'm just so thankful and grateful i'm grateful for the littlest things in life like but nothing is really little to me because just seeing life itself just waking up to see another day of life is big and then to be able to just improve in something is is very big to me <laughs> you know i don't take anything for granted in life i'm open to receiving and i'm open to opportunities I've learned to really use my energy to take advantage of opportunities. Making YouTube videos is opportunities. Making podcasts is opportunities. Doing Uber Eats. The time that we living in right now, y'all gotta, y'all gotta, y'all gotta real life pay attention. We're living in an instant gratification reality. People love food. When I get hungry, I know how I feel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know how I feel when I'm hungry. So I, I solved my hunger problem. Now I'm out here solving other people's hunger problems and the universe is rewarding me with money to take care of myself, to take care of my responsibilities because I'm helping other people and longer helping myself. You see, I'm not out here just being stingy saying, no, it's all about me, 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 me. Nah, bro. I'm going to help other people. I'm going to add value to the world. And then the money that I make, I'm going to make sure I take care of my, myself and I'm going to make sure I pay myself first. You know what I'm saying? But it always comes back tenfold, bro. You learn more about yourself when you start doing for others. Real talk. And I've I've created a life for myself that I enjoy. Now some people from some people might not look at it as enjoyment from the outside in. But me, I enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Uber, shout out to DoorDash, shout out to Grubhub. Shout out to everybody that's in the food delivery industry. You feel me? It's like, look for positive ways to, to, to make money. 
Look for positive ways to take care of yourself. I'm not talking about do OnlyFans and do all that stuff. That's negative, bruh. Those people is internally not really happy with themselves for real. They got to put their bodies on the internet and then allow other people to release their energy to them. Those people on the internet are succubus. Y'all got to see through it. Like, I see through the illusions. I see through so much stuff in this matrix, bruh. Those people are succubus. They want your energy. But them people... Don't really love themselves internally Because if you really love yourself You would not be putting your body on the internet And then masturbating and telling people Hey, pay me, look at me Hey, I'm gonna do a What they be doing, uh, 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 video cams and stuff bro. Cam girls and all that That's not cool, bro That's not cool at all The whole PMO industry is. It needs to leave the planet Earth, bro Like they need to delete everything off the internet That has to do with with other human beings fornicating and then putting it for the world to see. Because I feel like people's mentalities, people's, you know, mental health would be way more clearer, way better. People's spirits would be way more, like, enlightened. You know, like, you gotta, you gotta shine your light for real. I feel like people will also be more happier. Because porn is taken away from your happiness Whether you want to believe that or not You thinking it's keeping you happy It's what's psyching you out for real I'm just saying bro But I can only speak from my own personal experience I'm only here to help people out as, as much as I'm helping myself out With my messages And through my own experience And seeing the change within myself And how much I really like Love myself and respect myself for real And I respect others Like you feel me? Unless you disrespect me, then I'm gonna have to defend myself for real. But <laughs> that's just me. You know what I'm saying? That's it. I'm pretty sure you're that same way. Word. Somebody disrespect you, you gonna defend yourself. But outside of that, it's all about learning, bro. Learning life, learning yourself, and not being afraid to change. Let porn go, my boy. You don't need it. If you're a woman out there, stop desensitizing yourself. Stop doing it to yourself. You're destroying yourself. Word. Life is better. When you cultivate your life force essence And you take that That you know action Upon yourself bro To better yourself Energy is everything It's up to you It's not up to anybody else But um Make sure you hit the like button Subscribe to the channel If this is your first time to the channel Like I said thank you For helping me hit 3,000 3,000 For helping me hit Uh Damn 4,600 Supporters on the channel we almost have 5,000 supporters. So I appreciate y'all, man. I love y'all. And keep taking care of yourself, man. Too, too, too safe. It's your boy TT Talk, TT Fitness, Terrence Carter. Um, we out here, man. Having a human experience. That's all that it is. Appreciate y'all.